Can you see? Hey, everybody. As you can see, we're coloring Easter eggs. Isn't that exciting? Because I think that no matter how old you get, you just never get tired of coloring Easter eggs. And um, I found this really great, I, I subscribed to a blog called The Vintage Moth. And they are actually featured on the cover of Country Living Magazine this month. And um, I saw this fantastic idea. Now, these are uh, stickers that I've printed out on clear sticker paper, full sheets um, of, of label paper that um, you can get. At. I got mine at Staples. It's 10 sheets in a package, and it's $10. But um, the coolest thing is um, we're going to color these eggs, and then I also have some Aracana eggs. And for those of you who may not know, our kind of chickens lay colored eggs. And these eggs are um, in different shades of blue and blue-green. And they're absolutely beautiful. And I've printed out from my collection of vintage clip art, I've printed out some Easter um, things. So, like here is a bunny. And it may, um, let's see, oh see, there's still a little piece of label there. It may buckle, but it, when you get them in the basket, nobody's going to see that anyway. You just keep uh, buffing it until it gets nice and smooth as possible. You can use your fingernail and kind of rub around the edges. But look at, isn't that beautiful? How's that look? Good. Yeah. And then you just put that in your Easter basket. I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do this chick because I think he is so sweet. And then when we're all done, I'm going to bring you back. When I get some of these colored, I'm going to go ahead and put um, some of these pieces of artwork on them too. And as you might think, you don't even have to, uh, you don't have to color the eggs before you do this. You can just put these on white eggs and call it good, which is very cool. And these labels are, they're somewhat forgiving. But like I said, you may have to rub them quite a bit to, um, get them smooth. And look at that, isn't that sweet? Aww. And then you put it in your Easter basket. Okay, so we're going to continue coloring our eggs and we'll be back to show you what our basket looks like when we're done. Tell them what you're doing. I didn't really want to count, but this is going to be my half and half egg, half blue, half gold, in honor of Notre Dame. This is my spacer. I just cut it off of the inch and a half PVC. 